If you have ever received a design or been asked to recreate a design from a file, you know how hard it is to determine the font originally used. Or maybe you're like me and you forget. Enter Illustrator Retype. Once you use Retype to identify any text from either an outline or a raster-based file, you can begin to edit it. So in this case, we have a PDF opened inside of Illustrator. And if I select my text, you can see this is no longer editable type. It appears that outlines have been created. So to use Illustrator Retype, we can go through the window menu and go to Retype Beta. And there's also an option with Type and Retype Beta. We're going to go ahead and open that window and notice this isn't a beta form, so this may be updated over time. So I'm going to select that text group and go to match font. Notice that now I have a highlight around what I had selected. And so you can manipulate this selection area if you want. Um, if it didn't quite get things selected, you can manipulate that. And here we have the 10 matching font suggestions ordered by similarity. By default, this includes both system fonts and of course, Adobe fonts. You can also drag this marquee around to reselect. To edit the type, you'll first need to exit and then click edit text. Now the first time you edit text, it's going to download and install. That's only one time. So you'll just have to do that download the first time. We're going to now select our preferred font. And so I'm going to select that. I'm going to hit apply and it's applying and activating the font. And so now it is converted to live text and I'm just going to hit escape to exit that. And look, now we have type that I can edit. So retype is a great way to not only figure out what fonts have been used, but also to get text editable when you have been handled a raster or flattened file. Give that a try. Thank you.